Let's talk about some more metamorphic minerals. Yay. So moving a little bit past those gemmy minerals we were just talking about, like garnet, um, things like uh, diopside, any of those, um, barrel. Let's talk about these, which um, usually aren't gemmy quality because as you can probably see already, these two minerals have a very tabular or bladed crystal habit. Um, so over here we have selimonite and over here we have kyanite. Um, it should be clear too that color might be something that's going to help us out, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. So these two minerals that I've grouped together here under our nesosilicates category. Um, so they both have vitreous luster. I think that's quite easy to see. We have this nice glassy form, maybe a little bit pearly, but in general, um, I think that the bladed forms help us to see the vitreous luster. So very glassy, high reflectivity. Um, this one here is a little bit altered, so maybe it's a little bit less vitreous, maybe a little earthy, um, but in general we can say, okay, great, vitreous luster. I think also um, they both are, you know, moderate to moderately low density. Um, I think that's a common theme for all of these silicates that we've talked about and um, their cleavages. So let's talk about kyanite really quickly. We have two um, perfect cleavage directions um, and so you can kind of see this when they're these bladed edges are kind of lined up together. Um, kind of almost they look a little bit like a book um, but it's not quite flaky right like our sheet silicates. Um, and yeah, I think just really this bladed crystal, that's kind of why I grouped these two together really, um, is because I could see these being difficult to distinguish between each other. But what does help me with these two is color. So kyanite can be a multitude of different colors. We commonly see it as this blue color here. Um, one thing I always note about kyanite is that it's really rare to get a piece that has um, really consistent color. So even with something like this, I have these kind of weathered brown white edges. Um, I have these pockets of really, really deep blue, lighter blue. It's often difficult to find a piece that has really homogeneous color. Even looking at this one that's much darker blue, I still have these pockets of like lighter colors. Um, and so that can help you with like potentially other bladed minerals, but this kind of color patchiness is really common. And this blue color is something that's really common when we see it in, miner um, in uh, metamorphic rocks. But we can also have it be a little bit duller. So these are a bunch of, it's like an aggregate of a bunch of different kyanite crystals together. We can see some of that blue, but it can also be gray or white or colorless. But looking for that bladed crystal form is what really helps me um, to see, okay, maybe I'm looking at something like kyanite. And also, I'm on the back of a schist, so that's another giveaway because metamorphic rocks. But it can also be a variety of colors. You can even have it be green here. Um, this is also common. Well, I don't know about this one being common, but we do have a couple nice samples of these, but I can see that kind of like striated um, cleavage layering here, pretty nice. Still tabular, bladed. Um, these are almost all the same shape, right? They're this long tabular blade. Now when I go over here to selimonite, also um, the same crystal formula almost, this one's essentially just got some oxygen in it, right? Um, what I see here, the same bladed crystals, but you know, and this is something that I use just to help my eye, these kind of cracks that are perpendicular to the direction of the bladed crystal growth are like a giveaway to me that this is selimonite. I don't know if this is in every selimonite, but it's in almost every one that I've seen where it looks like glass that's been broken up and then put together in these long tabular forms. Um, and in general, selimonite does not get these pretty colors that kyanite has. So you can have a really pale kyanite crystal that maybe is the same color as this selimonite one, but you're never gonna see that kind of busted up broken perpendicular fracture um, that you do see in selimonite. This is also quite dense. 
I wonder if there's some impurities in here making this a little bit more dense. Um, but in general, selimanite's going to lack a lot of that same color that you'll see in kyanite. Um, what else is there? Selimanite's brittle. I think that brittleness that um, is what ends up giving it that kind of fracture pattern that's perpendicular. And I'm trying to think, what else is there? Oh, um, crystal system. So kyanite is going to be a triclinic uh, mineral. I guess you could say that this is euhedral, right? Triclinic's a really low symmetry. So this kind of bladed tabular form, I suppose, would be euhedral, I guess. We also have these really nice striations. I forgot to point that out before, but this is really common to see in kyanite, this beautiful, like, striated, elongated crystal growth. Gosh, it's pretty. I love kyanite. Um, I'm a sucker for metamorphic minerals. And then this one over here, so selimanite is going to be orthorhombic. Obviously, we're not really going to see that crystal shape here. It's quite difficult. Um, and then the last thing that can help you distinguish these two from each other is that kyanite has two different hardnesses. So the way that the mineral grows um, actually gives it these two different hardnesses. So we'll have one plane that is um, harder than the other, and but by a considerable amount. So I think I have it as... Um, one of them should be about a five, the other should be about a seven. So one of these directions would be able to scratch glass, the other might not. Um, I can't remember which is which, so we'll do it together. All right, so I'll tell you right there, that's the lower one. And let's see. This one, I cannot scratch this direction. It's really hard. It looks like I am, but I'm barely, I have to press so much harder. So this one would have, it's much easier to scratch it on this kind of broad tabular growth right here. Much more difficult here. Likewise, if we tried to do the top here, um, I would guarantee not to be able to do it with this nail. So we have a couple different hardnesses based on orientation here, and that's just a function of um, the growth that we have, this kind of tabular crystal form. And other than that, the things that'll help you with these, color, um, and then the fracture pattern. And that is selimanite and kyanite, are two of the metamorphic ones on the list.